What's up guys, back again with the third episode of the JavaScript tutorial. Um, I'm going to show you how to use um, different types of variables and const and lit in JavaScript. If you don't know what those are, um, you're about to know. So, uh, the three types is var, oh wait. So, first of all, if you want, if you want to know how to leave a comment, um, just do slash slash and then leave whatever you want to leave. But if you want to leave a multi-line comment, do slash asterisk, I, believe, I don't know how to say it. And then to close it off, you do like that. So then you can leave as many lines as you want. And what this does, it makes, it's um, like a message you can leave to yourself or another developer. Uh, yeah, in the code, it is not read, it's just left there. Only you can see it basically, not the computer. It's hard to explain, but yeah. So the three types is var or var, const, oops, const and lit. Uh, var is like the original one using JavaScript. It was always here, but these are these are new, fairly new. Um, so this is the most common one still. So we could do var hello and set it to a value of like six or var hello two equals like a string hello. And then of course you can console.log any of these. Hello. And there you go, there's six. Pretty cool. Or hello too, of course. And then hello, okay. So, um, you could do multiple things with these. You could say var, um, um, my name is Cody. And then just leave it at that. You don't have to assign a value yet if that's what you want to do. And then later on, you could assign a value. So you could say, my name is Cody equals Cody. Anything you need to notice is that you don't have to reassign var. That, if you put var again, that's just, re it's literally just the same as this, except you're putting value. But without the var, you're just reassigning the value of it, which is good. So do that. And um, yeah. So there's this thing called naming conventions where if you have multiple words in a, uh, a name of a variable, you have to do it a certain way, kind of. You don't have to, but it's what developers prefer to do, like a lot of them. So this isn't just a JavaScript. You could do it in multiple languages. So let's say we have my name, Cody Simpson. Notice that I did something called camel casing where the second word in the uh, name is capitalized. So when you have multiple words, you capitalize the newest word, the first letter, the newest word. But the first word is always going to be lowercase. So what this is for is to make it easier to read and uh, yeah, just more understandable for the developer. And just get whatever value you want to put. And uh, yeah. So um, there's another type that people use. It's called, um, I have no idea what it's called actually, but you just start off like that instead of leaving it lowercase. That's for useful for um, using object oriented programming and stuff like that, which we won't get into yet. So don't worry about that. But I'm going to be using this one because I like it. So, yep, that's called naming conventions. Yep. So that's that. And this is camel casing, if you don't know. And um, yeah, so that's the first type is a var, as a var. That's the most simple kind you can use. And um, so the next one is a const. So let's say you want to comment all this out, just do highlight it and then do control slash. Now it's commenting out. So const, you declare it the same way. So const uh, name equals five. And it's called const because it's constant, meaning it cannot change. Once you declare it to five, it cannot be anything else. So if you do name equals six, you get an error. See, because you cannot change it, it has to stay five if it's a const. Same with thing with the string too. It cannot change to anything else. So yeah. Also, um, you can't do this, or you have that. You have to have an initializing value. It has to be declared in the first statement of it. So yeah, that's that. And um, there's um, like certain things you can do. Basically, you can make like an array, for example, and name it um, hi. I'm an array and then equals like that and then put some oh put some values in there. You don't have to know what array is yet, but yeah. 
just showing you some stuff. So the thing is, we know that we cannot change the value of this, but we can change what's inside of it, basically. So we can do const, oh wait, no. So we can do, hey, I'm an array dot. So um, we want the second one, so dot uh, two, oh no, excuse me, two, and then equals five. So if you print this out, console.log, hey, I'm an array, the first one, and then print out the second one, you get the new value. Oops. Oh, I forgot to mention I did that wrong. Um, so to change this one, it would actually be one. Um, that's because in uh, for an array in JavaScript and many other languages, it doesn't start at one. It's not one, two, three, four, five, six. It's actually zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You know, it starts at zero. So don't forget that. It's very useful. Um, so yeah. So if you want to target this one, it'd be one. If you want to target this one, it'd be uh, three. So. So we notice that uh, for the first one, it's four because it stays there and we printed it out. But if we're here, we change it to one. So it's going to be, f um, we change it to five, so it'll be five. And we just learned that a constant cannot change, but it changed right here. So how did that happen? It's because we're not changing the value of this, we're changing the, what's inside of it. So that's something you got to keep in mind. And um, finally, we have another type. It's called a lit, let, and, um, yeah, it's good for um, certain things like uh, block scope and some crazy shit that I don't know too much about yet. But it works the same way as var, like literally the same way. So var, I mean, let, um, just kidding, equals five. And then we could just reassign it if we want to. It's not a constant, so we can reassign it, of course. Console.log, just kidding. There we go. So yeah. So like I said, it can be reassigned. And then what we can also do, you know, so we can do the thing where we um, just assign it a, like nothing. So we could do let Bob and then just leave it at that. And we could do Bob equals 500. And then there we go. And then we console.log Bob. There's Bob. See, um, so it's the same thing as variable, but when using certain things like uh, if statements and stuff, it gets uh, more useful. So I'd recommend using var when um, you don't need to change the value. But whenever the, you know the value is not going to change, use a constant, of course. So like in physics, we have constants also. So like if we know the height is not going to change, we can say const height equals like 500, 500 meters, just so we don't know that. And yeah, so that's an example of something we could use. And uh, yeah, so don't forget these three types, var, constant, lit, constant cannot change, var and lit can change, and then uh, yeah, and then lit we'll learn about more later on, kind of, but um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed everybody, leave a like if you liked it, and peace.